Hi, it's Sarah Davison here, the Divorce Coach. Now, did you know that September is the second busiest month for breakups? It's true. And, you know, I've just had a day, it's been a long day today, I've had a lot of clients in my clinic, and, you know, everyone today was a brand new client who is struggling with a breakup. Now, why do breakups happen in September? Well, they happen in September, and then the biggest time is January. So you've got January, which is peak time for breakups, and September, which is the second busiest time for breakups. And that's because we get to spend quality time with our partners in the summer holidays. And, you know, any time you get to spend quality time with your partner can put pressure on a relationship. Now, obviously, if you've got a great relationship, then, you know, there, there's no, and there aren't any cracks, then that's great to be able to spend more time with your partner. But if there are already cracks and there's problems, then spending quality time with your partner can actually put more pressure on the relationship. And yeah, that's why quite often, you know, September and January are, you know, there are lots of people breaking up. So if you are one of those people and you are struggling and you're having a tough time at the moment, then, you know, there are things you can do to help. You know, my first bit of advice would be to get a breakup support team around you of people that you've carefully chosen that can really help you with every area of your breakup. You know, if you're going through a divorce, you might need to think about getting a lawyer. You might need to think about getting a financial advisor. If it's your first breakup and you're dealing with that, with that, that real heartbreak, you might want to find someone who can support you emotionally. Um, and, you know, pick your friends and family wisely because even you know the best well-meaning friends and family can end up pouring uh, fuel on the fire sometimes so you know think about that maybe choose someone who's not so emotionally involved so they give you constructive positive advice you know if you do think you want help then yeah i do run a breakup recovery retreat and i have one coming up at the end of the month 29th and 30th of september at Ashdown Park Hotel, which is in East Sussex. Um, and I designed this because it's what I wish I'd had when I was going through my very difficult breakup. Um, and I will teach you all my techniques and strategies on how to cope with every kind of aspect of your breakup, whether it's dealing with heartbreak or betrayal, whether it's managing conflict, maybe if you do have kids, empowering those kids to get through the breakup and, and do well. Um, that can be quite a stressful time for parents. Um, maybe it's dating again. Maybe you've been separated for a while and you're just really struggling to cope with life after a breakup. Maybe you wanted it. Maybe it was your choice, but you just don't know how to move forward. So whatever angle it is, whatever you're going through, whatever challenges you're facing, whether it's practical challenges of how to let go and move forward, um, with your life, you know, how to, how to overcome those practical obstacles that are holding you back, then, you know, I cover those on my breakup recovery retreat. Um, you know, so if you are interested, then click on the link and you can find out more. But I hope this has helped and I hope you found it interesting. All right, guys, lots of love and, you know, keep strong. Take care. Bye.